Hi, I'm Brian, a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotiv. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, are these integration users using up Salesforce licenses? So we get this question every now and then, a new admin or somebody who's new to Salesforce sees users in their system that they don't recognize. And they immediately start wondering, am I paying for these users? And if so, can I reassign these licenses to somebody I actually recognize? So if we look in Salesforce here, in this particular org, we've got a number of integration users. Now, as a rule, integration users provided by Salesforce do not cost against your license count. It's a special user that's provided by Salesforce to help connect multiple systems. So one that you come across a lot is B2BMA integration. That's the B2B marketing automation integration user. So if you purchase Pardot, you're going to find that you've got this user record sitting in your Salesforce database, and it looks like it's active and using a license. Now, if we click into this user record, we get a little more details here. You'll notice right up here, it says the user license is a B2BMA integration user license. It's, it's something that's special. For regular people that log into Salesforce, you'll see a Salesforce user license up here. Or you might see a platform user, you might have community user licenses. But the important thing is if you click through here and you see something along the lines of integration user as the license type, it's not counting against the licenses that you're paying for. Another thing you can take a look at is if you go up to the quick find here and type in company information, you get a nice overview of information about your Salesforce org. This is essentially how Salesforce sees your organization. You can see set your address, your time zone, those sorts of things here. You can also see what edition your Salesforce org is. In this case, I'm in a developer edition. And you can see what licenses you have and how many of them have been used. So here we've got our Salesforce license. In this particular org, we have two available. Only one has been used. And you can also see we've got a Salesforce integration user license here, a B2BMA integration user license here. So to recap, those integration users typically are not using Salesforce licenses. You can confirm that by clicking on their user records and seeing the name of the license in the upper right hand corner. And you can also come to company information to see how many Salesforce licenses you're actually paying for and how many you have available to uh, assign to other employees. Well, I hope that helps and thanks for watching.